What is up? This is your LA in a minute. Now I'm here in Baldwin Hills in front of these pump jacks, active oil wells that are actually pumping oil from beneath Los Angeles. That's right. Los Angeles is the largest urban oil field on the planet. And in fact, going back to the 1930s, Los Angeles was the oil capital of the world. Let's get into it. So Los Angeles is the biggest urban oil field in the United States, pumping out more than 100,000 barrels per day. In fact, Los Angeles has more than 10,000 oil wells and 30% of the city's residents live within a mile of an active oil well. But in the late 1800s, Los Angeles was an isolated, agricultural, lawless, dusty outpost whose only migrants were people that didn't strike gold during the gold rush. But that all changed when oil was discovered by Edward Doheny in 1892. LA went from being a wild, wild west outpost to an actual metropolis overnight. In fact, soon it was the richest community in the entire United States. And that's because Doheny didn't just strike oil. He stoked oil fever, which took over Los Angeles. Workers in the nascent oil industry in Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana heard about these oil strikes in Los Angeles and motivated to strike it rich, moved out west. It was a different kind of crude out there, they said. It was easier to extract and you'd get rich quicker. Now, indeed, part of what made Los Angeles oil so attractive was that the oil was closer to the surface and thus easier to extract. Add that to the newly invented automobile, which Los Angeles embraced almost immediately, their incredible weather in a port, and that's a recipe for exponential expansion of the oil industry. In fact, in 1923, the Long Beach Press advertised small tracts of land for sale in a community called Petroleum Gardens, with all oil rights included. I mean, think about that. This is oil crazy. This was Signal Hill, Long Beach in the 1920s. And we're not just talking oil in one area. There was oil all over the Los Angeles basin. Venice, Montebello, the San Fernando Valley. This was one of the most productive oil fields in world history. By 1930, LA was producing nearly one quarter of the world's oil. Wow. It was said that the production in Los Angeles in the 1920s and 30s made LA the equivalent of Saudi Arabia today. Oil itself was a cottage industry that sparked industrial development and jobs in different industries throughout Los Angeles. L.A. not only became the car capital of the world, but also the gas and service station capital of the world. That growth led directly to the suburban sprawl of Los Angeles that we see today. Residential communities cropped up around these oil fields. Homes literally had oil derricks and oil wells in their front yards. Now, regulations lessened the drilling in Los Angeles, but it definitely didn't come to a halt. In fact, more than 100,000 people in Los Angeles live within 600 feet of an unplugged or active well to this day. And even though Los Angeles may not lead the world in oil output anymore, we still use more oil than any other city on the globe. Los Angeles went from the biggest oil producer to the biggest oil consumer. We're still the largest car market in America and the largest users of gasoline in the United States. So Los Angeles has thousands of active oil wells and we're pumping 100,000 barrels a day because at one point, Los Angeles was indeed the oil capital of the world. All right, LA, it's been a minute.